on any NBA team, really. I mean, whoever picks me up, I'm going to play my hardest for them and try to bring wins to the team. What's up, guys? RDQ and me back again with another video. It's not Valentine's Day. You don't got to love me, but I would appreciate it if you were to like the video. We're not at Subway, but I would appreciate it if you were to sub to the channel. So, anyone who likes the Ball Brothers, there's good news today. They say Leandro, Leandro Ball is going to be on the Hornets this for the Summer League. They're going to give him a Summer League tryout, see how he does for that. And um, he might be able to get a contract out of that, get to play with his brother Lamelo. Uh, this is actually a really good opportunity for Jello. He got that Pistons uh, Summer League Pistons Summer League last year, but he didn't get to play because of the fact that he was injured. So it was really a waste of the time, and he didn't get to show anything. So obviously he didn't get signed. But this year, he supposedly got a surgery. They say his leg's all fine. I don't know if it was his ankle or... I think it was his ankle, I believe. But now he seems to be all right. He's going to get an actual Summer League opportunity to see if he can end up being good. You know, that was what happened with uh, Kyle Kuzma. The first time he showed out was in the Summer League, and then he got, you know, when he got drafted, and that's what made people really think he was nice. So I don't think that um, Jello even has to play good in the Summer League because of the fact it's on the Hornets. They obviously gave him a chance because LaMelo, LaMelo's really their star player right now. He only had one year, but he's bringing a lot of money in. He's bringing a lot of, you know, eyes on the team. And Jordan definitely has to be seeing that too, that the Hornets are actually like, becoming like a franchise people like and is becoming much more marketable and they're going to want to keep LaMelo happy. I think if Jello even plays decent, they're going to sign him for sure just because they want to keep him happy. They want Melo to sign long term and there is a chance they might get Lonzo in the future. I do think that's really likely at this point. If they get Melo and Jello, it's very easy for Lonzo to come, you know, in free agency or through a trade because of the fact that Lonzo is good as well. You know, no one had a problem with LaMelo and Lonzo. Those two are both really good players, and a lot of teams do want them, so it's not hard for them to get together if they wanted. The only brother who they always thought, you know, there was an issue was Jello because there were no NBA teams that wanted Jello. Pistons tried to give him a chance. It didn't work, but no other team actually wanted him. The Hornets didn't probably didn't want him either, but because of the fact that Melo was probably pushing for them to at least give him a chance, this is his opportunity to be there. But I do think... If he plays even decently, like if he gets 10 points once or twice, I think they're going to sign him because there's 15 people. You might as well get him, throw him on the bench if he's kind of garbage. And then just to make Melo happy, I think it's going to be similar to teams trying to so trying to sign Giannis's brothers just to add an opportunity to get Giannis. You know, the Lake Lakers have um, Costas and Costas doesn't play at all. He only plays garbage minutes, but they got him just for the hopes that maybe down the line Giannis will try to go there and... They also have Thanasis on the Bucks just to try to make Giannis happy. Thanasis isn't bad either. He play he actually plays good defense. He's a pretty athletic player, but he's not really someone they would have picked up if not for Giannis. Hopefully this ends up being something for them. I'd love to have Jello get a contract. Hopefully he could just produce now. He'd been talking about wanting an opportunity. We saw him working out in his house, so hopefully this is the opportunity for him. And if everything goes well, you know what I'm saying? Get them ball boys. We're going to see all two of them ball boys and Hornets. And hopefully Lonzo comes soon. I'm going to end up calling this a video. It's been RDQ and me. Socials down below. You already know. And I'll catch you.